To me, I can't believe it. It seems surreal. Because I think of myself like 37, but then I had to remind myself my daughter's 33. <laughs> I just have no intention of growing up. And I wonder if that has something to do with uh, where the planets are and the fact that I am indeed a Capricorn. And well, you know, us Caps are famous for something. And the thing that Capricorns are famous for is aging backwards. I've read about it in a million books. In a million books I've read about it, that uh, Capricorns age backwards. And I've, you know, well, yeah. Who wants to believe that, right? It sounds like BS. But as I look at myself now, and I swear, I, I believe, I look probably better than I've ever looked in my entire life. I was an ugly duckling all my life. I think I'm metamorphosing now. I, I mean, I looked at some of my old pictures from just a few months ago, and I'm like, ooh, I'm changing. I, but it's, it's an improvement. It's classier. I think it's more knowledge and realization of my purpose and my goal in life and why it is I do what I do and the purpose of what it is I do. You know, I think that's the hardest thing is not understanding your purpose. I didn't, I mean, for ages, I thought I was gonna be a singer. I always knew I was gonna be in front of a camera. I just didn't know how and in what capacity. But this feels right. I mean, when I do the readings, when I talk to people, feels natural. Just me running my mouth about my favorite subject in the world, which is astrology. <clears throat> and it's always been astrology since 16. You know, and I just, I just want to say before I even, you know, get started, I want to thank everybody and anybody who has supported me in this journey because you have no idea how big of a journey this has been for me. I mean, I suffered from agoraphobia. I was in my house for seven years straight, seven years without, and even now and I don't go out except for doctor's appointments or to go to my daughter's or you know, she's got a, a something going on, I'll go with them. I mean, you know what I mean? changing. I'm not quite as timid as I was, but I still don't do what most normal people do, which, you know, I'm sure if you saw what I did, you would think, oh my gosh, I can't believe someone like that exists. Yeah. I can probably count on my hands the amount of times I've left my house, and it's almost the end of the year. I'm not kidding. <sighs> At least when I did go out, it was fun. Whenever I do, I party, I have fun. So, but anyway, I just thought it was interesting, just very interesting about the aging backwards thing. And the two uh, signs that I'm looking to do now are Gemini and Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn because, well, I'm a Capricorn, and uh, we've got both Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, and uh, Capricorn's been hit a lot by the Libra squares. It's not a pretty time, you know. Not really. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just kind of update Caps on what's going on because uh, we've been having a, a rough time of it, especially in our love life. It's crazy, right? All kind of insane. It, it makes no sense. So, yeah. in my mind, it doesn't make any damn sense, but who am I to speak on such a thing? 
So let's see here. Uh, okay, that's right. Venus is going to be going on the 2nd of November. Oh, the interesting cups. Okay, well, I tell you what. Since I've been kind of talking to Capricorns anyway, in a way, when I talk to myself, I feel like I, I'm talking to all Capricorns. I mean, it pertains to all of us, especially if you also have Capricorn rising like I do. I'm a Capricorn with Capricorn rising. So um, when I'm talking to Capricorns, I'm... I'm talking to us real Capricorns out there, okay? So when I look at this uh, caps, um, well, the first thing I, I, I just am upset about it because when I look at it, the first thing I see, and I'm kind of shooting ahead because I don't want to do that, but I can't help it. The full moon is going to be in the fifth house in Taurus on the 12th of November, and that's the fifth house, okay? That's the full moon. So that's, that's going to be affecting either our children our love life. It could be fun. I mean, it's full. And don't forget your Uranus is retrograding there. And we're about to have the new moon opposing that in Scorpio on the 27th of October. Now, I don't know why. But one way I did just see this was just the idea that flirtation with friends, maybe uh, love affairs with friends, or, you know, talk of such things. That new moon on the 27th in Scorpio is, uh, it might affect a lot of people. You might start talking about deeper, more intense, things with your friends than normal. So, and I'm talking of a sexual nature. <laughs> just like, I can throw it out there. It's, it's Scorpio. Anyway, the eighth house is empty right now. And so it may not be that way. I don't know. But I'm just saying, we're talking about the fifth house, Uranus, the full moon. And then we're talking about the 11th house. The 27th is going to hail in two weeks of emphasis on like organizations and clubs. And to me, it's like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and LinkedIn and any kind of organizations like Toastmasters or whatever you belong to. And um, your friends, hopes, dreams, wishes, all those types of things are really being highlighted. You're thinking about those things. You're thinking about what your dreams are, what you really want, what, you're, what you really want to attain. I really think you are. Mars has been in the 10th house uh, for a while. It's still in Libra, and it, it's just been spurring on ambitions. And I wonder how much or how many Capricorns have felt that call. Uh, I, I felt it. I, I mean, I well, let me show you something. I don't often do this, but I'm a Capricorn and you're a Capricorn, so I'm going to share it. This is not even the stuff in my computer, but these are my unfinished projects. Unfinished projects. Like a hundred right here, right? I've got so many things I'm involved in. So many products I need to 
to upload even on my own website. I'm helping to build a website for a lady right now, which I think her project's probably almost done. We just have a few tweaks here and there, and then we have to put our PayPal buttons, and I think she'll be good to go when she, she, you know, she wants it just right, and I understand that. But I think a lot of caps are probably very, very busy. I mean, look, see, I'm already talking about working on multiple jobs. Plus, in three days, I'm supposed to be a speaker for the Black Women Promote uh, first ever success summit, which I am really proud to be part of. There's going to be a crew of like 20 some women. They're all amazing women. So, uh, you know, that's going to be major. It's $24 to go. Now, my thing is, I, I don't know if it's recorded. I don't know. I want to check on that. That makes a big difference, I think. So, I think it's four-day access, but for $24, I don't know. I'm surprised. Well, you know, you can always check on it. And I, um, if you're interested, let me know, and I'll get you a link to that so you can find out more. And uh, I think other Capricorns are going to be in, you know, probably doing things with groups and organizations and clubs and things like that, too. I, I, I mean, I really do see myself getting more involved in certain things that I want to do online. And a lot of you Capricorns may be doing that and feeling that, too. And I think it's because not only is Mars in the 10th house, which is career, ambition, uh, what we want to achieve in the world or status, that type of thing. But then uh, Saturn and Pluto are like in the first house now. They're just pushing us, telling us, yeah, you better get off your ass and do it. You know, you better get to work. You better work. Turn to the left. Now work your girl. Turn to the right. Now do your thing as you walk down the runway. You know what I'm saying? got to do that right now. It's all about that. Saturn demands and Pluto demands it. I was looking at myself earlier and I'm like, I don't even look the same. I mean, a part of me, I don't know, part of my demeanor is just a little bit lighter, just a little bit more, I don't know. I do have a progressed moon in Gemini now, so I dance a lot and I think I'm probably younger and every aspect so that's a lucky thing I mean I guess <laughs> I do feel blessed in that way and some Capricorns may feel a certain blessed gratitude I mean if you've done well if you've taken care of yourself if you've been working on yourself if you're improving You'll know, you'll know if you're improving or if you're failing. I feel like I could go either way. Like I definitely about a year ago, I was teeter-tottering and I was, you know, when I went to the hospital, it was horrible. Um, but I feel, even though I get twings and pangs now, it's different, it's different. And I, I appreciate the fact that I've got that kind of energy inside of me, even at the age that I am. And I think a lot of Capricorns may feel this because Saturn is pushing us to work harder now and to, to, to work harder on ourselves. That's on the internal and external. And so, especially with Jupiter in the 12th house until December 2nd, uh, don't forget, you know, Jupiter's about to go into Capricorn. Mm -hmm. What are you caps planning? I'm planning to take over the world, like Madonna said back in the 80s. I mean, if God allows it, I'm going to do my best. I just feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Got Pluto in our first house. It's powerful. And it's like you either rise to the occasion or the occasion will rise to you. So you might as well rise to the occasion. And that's why I keep coming out here every week and doing what I do. And I hope I'm getting better at doing what I do because it's work. It's what I do for my work. And I love it. 
and I got my progressed sun in Pisces in the 12th house. I'm in my last incarnation. I have to do this work. It's my job to help other people, even if I don't get paid well. But I do take donations. And you can just go to astrologyalookinside.com and scroll down to the bottom of the page. There's the donation button right there. I do accept donations. So um, you guys, I think that as Capricorn, I, I am concerned about, you know, love, that's all. Because the North Node's in the seventh house. Don't forget, it's in Cancer. And uh, I mean, it's going closer toward the six now. And it's down in those last final degrees of Cancer, but it's the seventh house. Cancer is emotional. It's asking us to go deep and emotional and nurturing and caring and giving and loving and all of that with somebody else. Now, I don't have anybody else. I mean, I had a husband, but he ran and flew to coop. I guess he didn't love me. I don't know. I, I cursed his ass out, though. So, you know, what do you expect? That's what I do. I mean, oh, no. You gotta act right. He wasn't acting right. You get drunk and disappear on a person. Or marry a woman and never move in with her. It's horrifying. I'm actually still looking at, you know, what to do about this situation. And a lot of you Capricorns may be in a situation between that Uranus in the fifth house and the North Node in Cancer opposing us and Saturn in that seventh house. A lot of us are going through crazy relationship issues. Crazy. I've been waiting for my husband to send my divorce papers for a year now. And he flew to Coop. I haven't seen his face or saw or heard his voice in a year. But he will not send the divorce papers. The last excuse was the printer broke. It's been a year. Just saying. These kinds of things. So be aware of this. And, uh, oh, and Neptune. <clears throat> Neptune in the third house is retrograde in Pisces. Anytime Neptune is in Pisces anyway, the communication is just all kind of garbly. You know it is. I'm sitting here talking, and unless, of course, you're like me, unless, of course, you're some type of healer, psychic, astrologer, <coughs> you know, a little woo-woo. You're talking gobbledygook anyway. I talk fluent astralese. astrology is so you know that there are others that understand fluent astrologies as well so it's beautiful when I come and do my show because I get to speak in the language in which I've become accustomed to I've become accustomed to speaking in astrologies it's been most of my life and I am very pleased that I've been given an opportunity to share the skills that were given to me through a lot of hard work and training. And I think that's what Saturn in the first house and Pluto is reminding us, that through our hard work and training, whatever we've put our effort into, then that's what we're going to bring into fruition now. That's what is going to create the foundation within, within us. I guess if we created a strong foundation in ourselves, that's the foundation we stand upon now and as Saturn moves into our first house, deeper and deeper, and Pluto as well. And so these are important things, because I can tell you as a Capricorn, and I don't know if I'm alone in this, uh, my stomach has been churning, churning, and I'm losing weight. I'm not sad about the weight loss, but I am noticing that I'm changing and Pluto is known for doing transformations 
and metamorphosis and things of that nature. So keep your eye out. Be aware that these are things that could be happening now. And oh, and Venus is going to move into the 12th house with Jupiter during the month on the 2nd of November. Uh, Venus goes into the 12th house. So uh, be careful of secret hidden rendezvous and stuff like that. I'm not kidding. I have a feeling someone's going to come out of the blue and just say they love you. Someone that you weren't expecting to ever say they love you, but they're going to be like, I love you. Or I'm in love with you. Or something of that nature. And it might be something you might feel like it's, you know, it's hidden, it's secret, it's forbidden. I'm not saying you're having an affair. But I am saying you could. I'm just saying, yeah. Uranus is in the fifth house. I hope y'all are handling that Uranus retrograde in the fifth house well because that full moon is going to be in that fifth house on November 12th. And it's going to illuminate all the love affairs. All the love affairs. Mm. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> I hope you got your stuff together. You know, the self node on that Saturn like that is not nice. I mean, it's not exactly on it as tight as it was, but you know, the self node has been really, I think, hurting a lot of us caps with the reputations and stuff like that because the self node kind of makes it seem like your old hat or like you're not as exciting or new or fresh or, uh, you know. That's one of the things that happens with the south node is opposing your sun. It, it, or, you know, the south node is sitting like on your sun or on your ascendant. It's, it just makes you seem like you, you know, like seen that before, been there, done that. You might even be giving off that attitude like, oh, been there, done that. Or you might, you might come off like you appear like someone else or you remind people of someone else or you sound like someone else or anything like that. And it's hard to get your own individuality to shine through when the self node is sitting right on your sun and ascendant. Uh, you see how upset I am because the self node was sitting right on my sun. Now, luckily, it's going more into my 12th house. And thank God it's in the 12th house where it can hide away. Pulling away from my sun, thank goodness. Because I felt like the entire year, it's been very difficult for me to promote myself. So it's nice to see that North Node moving away from my first house, away from my ascendant, my son, and going deeper into the 12th, where it's into like the nether sphere, where no one really has to deal with that damn South Node when it's there, because it can wreak the havoc it always does anyway. South Node and the 12th house are perfect together. So just so that you know, I think some Capricorns will be getting a little respite from that. But, you know, with Jupiter and Venus in the 12th house, I'm just warning you, please no affairs. Oh my gosh. I just keep thinking, I don't know why I have such bad vibes about that. Like a husband coming in, catching someone or a wife coming in, catching, like, oh, no, no, no. All that Jupiter, there's a lot of potential, too. Don't tell me it ain't Capricorn, because I know I got temptation everywhere, and I'm not biting on any single thing. I'm just not. I'm busy. And you guys might be that way, too. We got Saturn on, you know, right in the first house. We're all about the business right now. I don't even know if it's about the money, per se. Even though Mars is in the 10th house, it's about the career. It's about the ambition. Mars sitting up there in the 10th house, really, it's really pushing that, you know. And once it gets out of the 10th, it's going into the 11th, into our hopes, dreams, and wishes. It's all about us pushing for what we want right now, Caps. So make sure you're pushing for what you want. And I know what, I'm a little dry and, you know, I, I'm not real expressive. Or maybe I am, I don't know. I just know I'm a Capricorn with Capricorn rising. And I got Saturn in the first house in Aquarius. 
And I come off damn hard and dark. And I don't know how to stop that. And I've long since stopped trying because I can only be who I am. And I hope, whoever you are out there, that you'll take a moment to accept me for exactly who I am. And if you're a Capricorn, that you take the time to demand the same from every person who treats you like you are a second choice. Because we're no one's second choice. And we're never going to be second best. Okay? Once you get that in there, just chill. I think Saturn and Pluto in our first house demands us to just chill, especially with Neptune in the third and Pisces. Get some meditative music. Go into your own special place. And don't let the cares of the world pull you down, okay? Much of love and light to you, Capricorns. And please take a moment to like and share our videos and take a moment to subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the little bell. And when you do that, it will notify you when I'm uploading new horoscope videos and things of that nature here. So thank you once again for stopping by. It's been my pleasure. And oh, I invite you all to join me on my group uh, on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash groups slash astrology a look inside. Okay? Okay. Namaste everyone. Hello, this is Adrian Capricorn Tigers of astrologyalookinside.com. And I am coming to you to, first of all, wish everyone a very spooky and happy Halloween season. And also to let you know that we've made changes and upgrades to astrologyalookinside.com. And I invite you now to come and check out our shop with all of our new items there, spiritual, astrological, and more self-improvement items and everything there. I invite you to go to astrologyalookinside.com slash shop and check that out. Sending out much love, much light, many blessings to all, and just hoping everyone has a beautiful, happy, and safe Halloween season. Thank you.